Hei tēnei wiki kei ngā pai maunga o wai takere mātou e titiro ana ki te tahi mate e patunga i te kauri. E utu ana ngā tohunga whakangau puaka ki te patu i ngā puaka nā te mea e taua mate e kawai ana e ngā puaka. Tai hauāru o tāmaki makaura ngā pai maunga o wai tākere e tū ana. O tāmaki makaura te taone nurui rawatu o Aotearoa katoa. Te rā pea whakāro ana koe, kei hea ngā wāhi mahi aruaru i ākarana. He toru te kau meniti noi ho ki te tai hau aru i waho o te taone pū ākarana, ko ngā pai maunga whakahirahira o wai tākere. Ngā mihi nunui ki ngā mana whenua, arā, ko ngā tifātua, me te kaura wāmaki. Ngā koutou tēnei takiwa o te wānui a tiriwa, i tuku hei painga ma te katoa. Nō kū te māngari nui ki te kōrero tahi me tēnei tohunga, e mātau ana ki ngā ahua tanga kato o tēnei mate, e patu nei te kauri. Ok, um... Right, just up here we've got a um, kauri tree that's got the disease in a reasonably advanced stage, and so we can go and have a look at it, if you'd like. You can just see it through there. How old do you reckon that one is? Oh, about 400 years, I'd say. It's, uh, it's fairly old. Kauri trees live for up to a thousand years, so they're a long-lived species. And um, yeah, and this one's sort of in its m middle age, I would put it. Ko apeha Alison Davis tēnei, e mātou a nāia ki ngā āhua tango tēnei mate. OK, um, we're up close now and you can see all this weeping coming out of this tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't look very healthy. Um, this is um, actually called curry gum, which I think people might be familiar with. And it's quite soft if you feel it. Some of it's very fresh and sticky. You can put your hands on and feel the stickiness of it. But just to explain how the disease infects the trees, it's um, a phytophthora, which is a, um, a fungus-like disease, and it gets into the roots of the curry tree and attacks the roots, and then um, ends up infecting, I suppose, through the through the tissues of the tree affecting the, the trunk and then up into the, canop um, into the canopy. So do animals spread it or humans or what? Humans and animals, also any wheels of machinery that have come in contact with the disease in the soil can spread it. Um, our boots for instance um, can pick up soil, particularly if it's wet, and adhere to our, our shoes and as we're walking along we could you know, drop it off and um, in the disease. Now cowries have big root zones so they go out quite a long way so you may not be standing right next to a tree, you could be standing 10 metres away and you could be standing on curry roots and so it's you can see it'd be quite easy to spread. So as well as people, um, we, um, we wonder whether um, animals, wild animals, may also be a vector. And in the Waitakere Ranges, we have um, um, pigs, and they um, could potentially be a vector. We're not sure, and um, we don't know for sure whether they are. And we're, um, at the moment, we're collecting some of um, pig hooves and snouts and actually testing to see whether that disease is on them. There's other reasons why we want to keep pig numbers down and that's because of the impact that they're having on um, some of our um, wildlife in the ranges and our, also our forest regeneration because they'll tune over the soil and affect seedlings. Um, we've got some rare plants like Dactylanthus which is a wood rose, it's very rare, um, pigs really love that, it's like eating truffles for them. Um, we have um, curry snails in the ranges and pigs eat those as well and make a nice meal for them. Moe tahi atu kororo e paana ki tēnei mate, haere ki te whārangi ipurangi arc.govt.nz. Curry at the 
moment um, under the park management plan, um, recreational hunting um, for pigs is um, not permitted um, and um, because of that, that's why we um, get contractors in um, who we basically pay professionals to do our pig um, control work. Howie um, will be going out with our team of um, pig contractors, Andrea and John, who've been doing pig contracting work for us for a number of years. They know the Waitakwis like the back of their hands and um, I'm sure they'll keep him safe and well and he'll have a great experience. E tūtaki atu au ki ngā tohunga whakangau poaka. Kia ora, um, I'm John Rule. Um, I'm a professional hunter. My um, company is Killing for a Living. Kia ora, I'm Mandy Rule. Um, I'm part of Killing for a Living, professional pig hunter in the Waitakere Ranges for ARC. Professional pig hunter, bro? Yeah, yeah. I didn't think there was any such thing. Well, yeah, there has been for a while here. Yeah. yeah, been um, full time for about, coming up about five years for uh, ARC. And uh, basically 20 years, but, uh, five years full time, yeah. You get an hourly rate or you get paid by the... Uh, basically paid by half day and full day. Um, this um, particular contract we're running at the moment, it's hourly rate. Um, yeah. And how did you come up with your logo? Your, your Killing for a living. Killing for, kill, killing for a living. There's that much killing going on. That, uh, yeah, I thought that's what we're doing. We're killing for a living and uh, it was a, just seemed like it all tied up nicely. It's a husband and wife. Um, yeah, yeah. Andrea's done a lot of hunting with me. So you stick to pig and carried it. Yep, that's happened a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful afternoon. Me tapara nei te nei wahi kuaurangi. Pera rawa tana te te. Poaka. Kai he akwe. Up here, Howie, we've really got to um, hunt the um, main ridges and, and, and the, just the spurs and stay out of the side creeks. The only creeks you can walk up are the main creeks in the valleys, you know, the main big valley creek. All the side creeks are just jungle, full thick. Not a chance of getting down it, eh? Love these steep hills, man. Love them. Yeah, well, we'll move on, eh? This um, ridge we're on here, how is the summit ridge. It's the, um, it divides the um, two water catchments. You've got Naitapu catchment on this side here. And then you've got the Huia Valley on this uh, side here, named after the Huia bird. And uh, she's, this is where both, the, both these catchments supply um, water um, for Auckland, yeah. Gentlemen, not too good so far. We've been going for four hours and haven't caught a damn thing. Damn! Th Sorry. Anyway, what's the name of this place? Uh, Upper Huia Dam. Uh, nuggets Track. There's plenty of pigs here. Plenty, plenty of pigs, pigs around. Plenty of pigs up here. Not at the moment, though. Eh? Not at the moment. <laughs> not at the moment. So, like John and Adrian, do you guys hunt full time too? Uh, at the moment, yeah, pretty much. We've been the last three weeks. We've been at it every day, getting out there. So it's been good. Catching a few pigs. So it's sweet keeps us occupied. Running your own dogs? Yeah, me and Tim have got a pack together as well. I've got a boy and Tim's got two girls and they do pretty well. It's, it's good. And uh, who got you started off hunting? Uh, Keith Briars over on the barrier, Great Barrier Island. The pigs over there? Crap loads of them. <laughs> <laughs> More than here, eh? Oh, I wouldn't say that, but yeah, there's a lot over there. How about More you? big mobs. Mm. How about you, mate? Um, this mongrel here got me started into hunting. <laughs> so, right? Yeah, I got my first pig and I haven't been back. Got me a dog and been into it for the last year and a half now, so it's good. He's getting bashed and bruised on the old rugby field <laughs> on the Saturday yeah, river yeah, until yeah. he gets some meat. Yeah, it's his choice, keeps me fit as well. So, what's the plan from here? 
Well, the, the, the dogs went that way, so uh, we'll head that way, eh? Do you reckon? I reckon. Get in there. Shall I wait here for you and you give me a call <laughs> or we'll all go together? <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll go, eh? At the whānau, kōro rafi na mō tēnei wiki, shooting aids or rifle rests. Adam's got one to demonstrate mm -hmm. for us here. Now, how we do this is as simple as a collapsible piece of tubing, aluminium tubing. We form a cross here, it's just held together by a bit of heavy rubber. Put our rifle in between the cross there, it gives us a nice steady platform. If we're out in the field paddock and we can't find any rest, it just makes it a lot more accurate for us. I actually like this one mate, adjustable height. All we have to do is place the rifle in the top, you can strap me up. All right, with this here. Adjust the height, line them up, 500 metres, sparrow, boom! Down he goes, mate. Right. If we move across here, Howie, um, we've got some more uh, rifle Aids. shooting platforms, aids. Okay, these are just like a bean bag. We've got a single one here. Place the rifle in between the, uh, the slot. Keeps it pretty steady. Or well, otherwise, we've got two bean bags, um, one for the forestock and one for the uh, butt section of the rifle. Very simple. And then what about this Adam pod? So a bipod, Howie? Oh, bipod. Bipod, yes. yep. Fully swivel, flexible mount, detachable. Okay, simple as that. Um, a, lot of, a lot of guys are using these for their rifles these days. And then we got this big, uh, big hoo here. Okay, this, this is a great uh, machine for uh, siding your rifle out of the bench, especially your high caliber ones. A bean bag in here, okay, keeps it nice and steady, takes a lot of the recoil out of the rifle, so it makes it nice to shoot. Fully adjustable uh, with the adjustment knobs on here, and you can move the barrel sideways with a small one. But do they vary at all when sighting them in? They do vary. If you're going to shoot your rifle, a good thing to remember, if you're going to use a bipod, sight your rifle in from a bipod, if you're going to use a bag, use a bag, okay? They will shoot differently. Thank you, man. You're welcome. So there you have it, Fana. A few extra hints and aids for you to hopefully shoot a bit straighter. But as for me, I've never had any use for such aids. Apart from a mirror. the Queen at the Quarter Room, Tene Wiki. One of our um, native <coughs> king ferns. They're only found in a very few places in the Waitakere Ranges and they're quite protected and the pigs um, tend to dig them up so it's one of the reasons we want to keep the pig numbers down just to protect the plant. Predominantly only grown in Waitakere or other uh, places? The barrier, Great Barrier, but there are only a few places, I'm not sure about the rest of New Zealand, but just you know, there are a few places in the Waitax. So yeah. No good for me, no pickle pickle on that one. <laughs> I was only 14 when I met John, so I started hunting with him when I was 14 and basically haven't stopped. It's good fun, good recreation. The numbers been over the years, are they depleted or yeah, are they getting definitely. more? Yeah, definitely. No, no, definitely. Um, definitely gone down, especially over the last couple of years. We've really, you know, really got stuck in and hammered them and it's, they've lowered. What's the story behind the old ivory there you got around in there? Ah, uh, that was a pig we caught out at um, Whatapu about two years ago it killed one of our dogs, Haggis, one of our main dogs. Yes, yeah, so it was a bit of a legend. So you obviously enjoy hunting, eh? Yeah, love it. Wouldn't so be without it. Koi rā te ngā kau nui o inei tokorua ki o rāua mahi. Tia! Tū meke! It's been a long hard day whānau. Started at six, it's now going on seven. No peak. Dogs are gone again, and so have the hunters. But as for me, I'm heading back to the truck for my bully beef sandwiches. But hey, tomorrow's another day. We're gonna start again and go hunting with our mates. Pork chops for life. I roto i tēnei wahanga, kei karanga hape tātou. Oh, aroha mai, kei wai tākere. Kua tūtaki ke tātou ki te apeha ki a Alison, nā nei kōrero mai ngā hua tango te mate i pāngi ai e ngā kauri. Ka tahi tātou, ka whakangau pua ka tahi me ngā tāngata nei a John. A wako Andy, engari ki hai rā e whiwhi hua i tērā hairenga. Engari, he rā anō tēnei. Ka whiwhi pua ka pea tātou, a tēnei rā. Kia ora whanau. Second day in the Waitakere Ranges, but this time we're going through the Cascade End with the fellow known as Pork Chops for Life. 
Morena, morena, how are you? Tēnā koe kas? Yeah, kas. You remember Justin and uh, this yeah, fellow right. Brendan? Yeah, mate. Pork chops for life, mate. Pork chops for life, Kazi. We're going to go and have a look around uh, this area. It's uh, near the um, Bethel's area, so we're going to have a check it out, eh? Not a good sign, mate, looking at the map. <coughs> we're going to bring a map just in case we get lost, eh? The stars are gone, so we're going to be... Uh... Oh, I might feel better with these fellas coming along. <laughs> no, no, these fellas are not allowed to come, Kaz. I'm the, uh, I'm the local ranger around here at the moment, you know, looking after the area, and these two are just... Basically, riffraff. Smoking so, the beer? Yeah, they can't come. Cause, so it's just me and you today. Okay, hey, Cuz, you have plucked your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put that on and let's get away from this thing. Hey, go home, you two. Beat it. Massive. Been contracted with a couple of other contractors, uh, Peter Jackson and uh, old mate John Rawls. He's a bit of a legend around here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to keep up with him at the moment, so. But I, as you probably know, uh, yeah, I'm like. I think I'm a bit of a legend sometimes. Bro, Yo. this is one for me. <laughs> uh, the way you I probably so. need it when you're back home, boy. No, 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 the way you walk up those hills, brother, you, you might leave me behind. No, no way, because this is the new uh, GPS tracking system collars that we're using, especially out here, you really need them, mate. So, I mean, imagine if you had that yesterday, you would have caught those pigs with John, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, however, these are the systems here. You use this machine here. It shows you exactly on the map where you are. It's got a topo map on it, so the graph's all there. You can't you can't lose your dog. So what's the distance, bro? What's the distance on these things? Oh, couple of k. You know, but once you put the big one on, then you can go miles go. But most of the time, they hopefully they don't go too far. And if you lose them after a couple of k, you just walk to where you lost them and then pick them up again from there. there. He toa Ozzy ki aku fakaro. Ka hore he mahi kei tui te ra kai ngā kau ni a nei koe. He ngā kau nui a ia ki te fuchuporo, me te fakangai puaka. He ora ngā hoki e nei mona. Kei te ori te mau e te ra hua tanga. He nga i te fuchuporo. Ma te wahi ne pia. I hate getting wet socks, cuz. Typical back, eh? <laughs> Take the easy way, forward, straight up the middle. Tiro here, ma tau te GPS, pai ra watu aosi, kia kita ai kei hea e rā tu o ngā kuri. Kei te miharo ngā hangarau e nei rā, engari, kaore te GPS, e tae te kite e nei momotohu. How are you doing, guys? Have you been out in the experience in mind? Looks like pig shit. <laughs> Feels like pig shit. Feels like pig shit, looks tastes like pig like, shit. Tastes like pig shit. Like you were never still in it. <laughs> I normally come with a mate of mine, my good mate Matt Oldfield, bro. He's the one who's in partnership with this contract with me. But he couldn't come because he's just simply he just drinks lattes all day at the latte <laughs> shop cuts. The old married boy from the par. Keeping up with the old eggs all black. Cass! Coming back this way? No, hurry up, man. Come on, let's go. Ko fai wa hi taku nono ki te fakata ki ta rapu hoki nga kuri. Pretty easy the old hunting these days with the old new methods. Methods they found the old GPS over here. Yeah, cuz we know exactly where our dogs are. We bring up dogs. They're 164 meters down here on that clearing, on that flat down here with the topo map. You can read it easy, cuz. So we'll just sit here, listen for them, let them do all the work. It's pretty crappy down there. So what do you, what's your facado, bro, on the, the Cody rot disease and the pigs? They reckon they've only just discovered it, but I, I've heard through different vines that, um, that it, it's been around for a number of years, and I'm talking going back 30 odd years on, um, on places like the Great Barrier and things like that. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but that's just what I've heard. And uh, it is killing our trees, but I don't know whether it is our, our wild pigs or if they are helping um, assisting it, you know, and spreading it, but it's got to be more than that because there's some areas where there's Cody and there's no pigs and they're dying. Yeah. I tu atu i te hiwi rā, John, laua ko Andy e whakangau pōakana, wai mari e ka mau te tahi a rā. Bro, here's the pig, here's the pig! <laughs> Tiro here, Andy. Kata hira te wahi ne to. Oh, that's so sour, eh? Nice here, that boy. Yeah, it's just that there, eh? Nice trick. Too far, too. 
Das kann. Das würde die Hütte. Und oh ja, was hat der Wasser gesehen? Mein zwei Dogs kommen down hier bei den Andy's Dogs hütet on the top of the ridge hier und just sort of stopped it down here, eh, Andy? Those well, two dogs going good for you. I'm glad we caught something broke because I was fast not liking this bloody white target there, Rangers. Congratulations, well done. Yeah. That's, how, that's how well the, that's, that's well what the ladies pot. do out here in the west. What well, we've got to do oh. now, put a bit of gut in the pot, take his um, trotter, because his trotter's got to be analysed for uh, that phytophthora that's knocking the carries around. And then we've got to take his snout, and that's our tally. And that goes to our boss to say, yep, that's our pig. That's our pig and I'm doing so, my um, job. And the rest of it really gets... Um, no. yep. Yeah, he's been eating a lot of young knee cow, as you can see. And uh, yeah, just different... A couple of berries. A couple of berries in there yeah. and different bits and pieces. Mm. Oh, grissom over here. Oh, yeah, grissom, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you, sorry, boy. Yeah. I, I've been hunting in this park for like 25 years and they must be some of the most original wild pigs I've seen around the country, the old... Um, the old, old um, school of them all. I've been hunting this place for what, for what three weeks now? Yep. And what, what's the biggest pigs you catch in here, bro? We've caught 140s, 120s. Are, yep. are they the biggest They're ones? The or? Biggest. They're the biggest. I had one last year, possibly around 160. Yeah. But uh, oh, 120 pounds, big pig for me here. He tangata wira tangata John, rawa ko Andy mahi, tamawa ko was he miti miti ngutu. Okay, we'll get rid of this pig. Yeah, no, no, leave it here. I'll go give him. He's going to have a quick cut. I'm going to say, could I give the tiny motor? Yeah, but, uh, but we'll see if I was big at the truck. And okay. um, because you stuck it, Glenn said he, he'll he shout you the beers. <laughs> no <laughs> sweat, cuz. <laughs> no sweat, bro. Na kute huri kita tangui o kutawira, he mahi putaiawa no moku. Oh, we titiro. Ka wai wai taku waha. Kick your hog Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing now, bro? You're supposed to leave it. Look at the the John, Andy, and old Bondi. I think his name is Bondi. And a big ups to my mate, old Glenn. And I think I might just whoop out a tiro tiro for him. Rorera Fana, Queen at the Hotaka, hunting out the Roa, or ten Ewiki, Kelra. Hey, what about that? Hey, what? Okay, my Anoa, Terra, Wiki, Kerunga Mata, Witao, Pakatane, Kitawahi, Kiana, Kotaputere, Ketapai, Pratia Mato, Kunga Kayaru, Rurungu, Rawatu, or Ruatoki, Ala, Kora Pira Black, Roa Komena, Rapiata. Um, I've never met a guy who's so inspirational in my eyes, not, not just as a pig hunter, but as a sporting hero for myself. Excellent guy. We're not really surgeons. They were more the tasters. Paul, <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it pork flap for life? Pork flaps for life there, brother. Pork flap for life. <laughs>